I've tried a couple different soap recipes and the one I found in this book so far is my favorite. This is a kitchen grease soap. It takes a natural fat, water, and lye. So now I'm gonna go over my tools. Okay, here are my tools. Here's my spatula, I use it only for soap making. This is what I measure my fat into. I need something small to measure my lye into, and then something to measure my water into. I use face protection and hand protection. This is my mold. I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby, but look at your local thrift store and you can find things like this. Here's my lye. I ordered this off of Amazon. Just for reference, I'm gonna be using four ounces. I use an immersion blender. I also bought this at the thrift store. Here's a tallow. If you guys haven't seen the video of me rendering that, go watch that now. But this came from a beef cow my brother butchered this winter. And I'm gonna be using two pounds of this. This also goes a long way. Oh, and I've got my kitchen scale. You don't need one this big, but this is what I have, so I just use it for everything. So I like to mix up my lye and water solution first because it needs to have time to cool before it goes into my fat. So I'm gonna put my gloves on and get my mask put on too. And I'm gonna start measuring out my lye and my water. Okay, don't ever measure your any of your soap products by cups. That calls for 12 ounces of water. I'm not gonna put a cup and a half of water in here. I'm going to weigh it. Always go by weight. So tear down my scale. I'm now gonna pour 12 ounces of water in here by weight. I'm just using tap water. I am on a well. If you're on city water, you might wanna use distilled. All right, I'm gonna tear this. Four ounces of lye in here. You always wanna measure these separately because then if you make a mistake and add too much, you can go back and take it away. All right, I've got my four ounces of lye. So now I'm going to carefully add my lye into my water. When you mix the lye into the water, it's very caustic smelling. So I like to pour in slowly, always, Number one rule of soap making, lie into water. This is gonna smell really strong and I'm gonna set it aside and let it start getting to work. I'm gonna set my lye solution aside and let it start cooling down. It's very hot right now. Don't make soap around children. This recipe calls for two pounds of tallow. All right, I've got my two pounds of tallow here. I'm gonna take it over to the stove. So I don't have a double boiler, so I'm just gonna take this pot. I filled it up about two inches with water. I'm gonna set this on it, and I'm gonna let this go, and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. All right, so my tallow is completely melted. I'm gonna add my lye water to it. And I went ahead and ground up some lavender that I had dried from my flower garden. We're gonna, this can be an experiment. We'll see what happens. I haven't done this before. All right, so I'm gonna put this in first. Burp it, so to speak. And I'm gonna wait until, I'm gonna blend it until it has a light trace which means the soap will kind of sit on itself and leave a ditch. So it turns almost a milky white cream almost immediately. I'm gonna go ahead and add my dried lavender powder now. I've got it to a light trace now, so I'm gonna pull out my immersion blender. So it just kind of, kind of the consistency of 
pudding. Okay, here's my soap mold. I already know that this batch will fill this mold and I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours and I'll slice it. All right, it's been 24 hours, so it's time to unmold the soap. The soap is not safe to use yet. We're actually going to cut it and then get it ready for the curing process. All right, you can use a large butter knife or I have this old crinkle cutter that my mom gave me and it makes it look cute, but it's soap. So whatever you've got around, go for it. I'm gonna measure it so that I can get my bars equally This is how it would look with the crinkle cut. Now we're gonna do some straight edge. Regular butcher knife, crinkle cutter. Okay, next step. I've got a shoe box here. I'm gonna lay these in here. So I'm gonna space them all evenly apart so that they get plenty of airflow. These are gonna go in my closet in this cardboard box for four weeks. I will put on here ready. Two, eight, twenty-four, and then I know that I can pull these out and use them or share them with friends and family. I hope I made soap making look easy and accessible to you. Thanks for watching.